If you want some comedic relief in the midst of all this, which it really isn't funny, um, think with me about the fact that this president, whose White House has criticized that French newspaper, by the way, <clears throat> where all those people were just murdered by devout Muslims, um, he has been, he said, we'll have the most transparent open to the press, but the press are complaining that he is the most closed presidency. He's been the most hostile to the press and his White House and Eric Holder have spied on members of the press, okay? This is not a president who is a friend of the free press. That's why he and Kerry have been so tepid I mean, look, the President of the United States could have stood up and said, we decry this act of Muslim terrorism. And perhaps Muslims recognize that Muhammad did authorize the murder of people. Nah, this is fantasy. He's not going to do that. <laughs> um, if you want to see. Oh, and by the way, the President, of course, went to Sony and said, no, 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 don't be afraid. Show the film. Show the film. Um, the interview in which the two reporters end up assassinating the leader of North Korea. Obama said, don't be afraid. Show the film. Because that's a little dog. And Obama is not afraid of any North Korean assets anywhere. But when it comes to... Mock, so when it's mocking a North Korean leader, a despot, no problem. But when it comes to mocking a despot named Mohammed a man with arguably uh, at least as evil and oppressive a iron fist against Christians, against Jews, against women as the, as the leader of North Korea. I mean, Muhammad authorized capturing slave women and having sex with them. He had his own sex slave concubines, for goodness sake. So, you know, if, you, if you're going to mock the guy from North Korea... Why not have a parody here, Mr. Obama? But that would be logical. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you about something historic. Greek history, Roman history, and Islamic history. Just do a calm connecting of the dots. In the meantime, if you want to learn about Islam, go to our website, look at the papers that I use, and then look at the, the footnotes and the references, and go to those books. Go to the Islamic sources and read them for yourself. Read The Life of Muhammad by Ibn Ishaq. You'll know more than Obama and Kerry put together. <laughs>